If anything, it's, it's the party is in the GNU. My guess is that it was prepared by DA members. I will tell you why I'm saying that. We were watching very closely in Parliament as the President was delivering his speech, it's the white members of the DA party who were busy applauding. So it was all about pleasing the GNU parties, particularly the, the DA. Uh, but, but Dr. Shope, which parts were you not satisfied with? And as the MK party, what do you believe should have been included then if you're saying it's so appalling? Okay, firstly, there is so much lies that is contained in the speech. I regard this president as a serious liar, a serious-minded liar. Firstly, he says his government, ANC, that we lead, has created more than two million jobs. We are South Africans, we know he's lying. That's not true. If anything, the rate of unemployment in this country is almost 35 percent now. So we, we have lost more jobs than we have created. That is a lie. The speech didn't address critical issues like the issue of Palestine. We know why he's not addressing that. It is because the DA is watching him in the GNU. He can't address it because the policies differ in respect of Palestine, right? So the speech was empty in that regard. Furthermore, the MK party, Umkondo Esizwe, we have been very clear in terms of our election manifesto. We are for the return of the land to the rightful owners. We want Section 25 of the Constitution to be amended, right, in such a way that there is, uh, it, in such a way that it makes provision for expropriation of land without compensation. We want nationalization of the key sectors of the, uh, of the economy, such as banks and mines. All right, that's Dr. John Clope.